Okay, I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Sure. There, you know, there's this this age old argument about freedom fighters versus terrorists. We we, we have Ronald Reagan to think of the one man's terrorist and another man's freedom fighter. Where do you stand on the issue of the Fenians? Were they terrorists or were they freedom fighters? Well, you know, you see me on the spot, and now you take you see me take one step off it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, from the perspective of the Fenians themselves, of course they were freedom fighters. Um, uh, from the perspective of Thomas Darcy McGee, uh, who had once been a freedom fighter himself, uh, I mean, he had been a revolutionary, a revolutionary leader in mm -hmm. 1848. He was actually the most visceral opponent of the Fenians in Canada. Uh, uh, outreaching the orange order in his denunciations wow, of the that's saying something uh, yeah i mean he attacked the orange order too but that's a different story but um no for him they were irreligious they were immoral he didn't actually use the word terrorist but he described them as sowing terror mm -hmm. among peaceable canadians uh that there was absolutely no justification for what they were doing um uh, that uh they they were uh deluded followers of self-interested men this this was his approach and um after uh, after there were prisoners taken fenian prisoners taken after the battle of ridgeway in the niagara peninsula um about 16 of them were given the death sentence oh um, really now the yeah now the, now the british government was extremely worried about this because they they, they thought these martyrs mm. as they would become yeah. would only uh, intensify Fenian anger and play into the hands of the Fenian Brotherhood. They did not want anyone to be executed and they let the Canadian government know this. And the Canadian government waited a while and uh, five months later said, we're, we're commuting the, the sentences to uh, uh, long prison sentences. Mm. McGee gave a speech that November of 1866 in which he said, um, in which he announced the, the commutation and then this was to an Irish Montreal audience. And Montreal was a Fenian, parts of Montreal, Griffintown, for example, was a Fenian hotbed. And he gave this speech in which he said, and I quote, these men deserve death. Now, this was hardly a moderate position to take, you know, uh, these men deserve death. And he was booed by a section of the audience. And then he said, he pointed at them and he said, I have evidence against you that could put you exactly where the Fenians are, but I choose not to use it. You are not worth it. You know, so this was really, really a combative uh, uh, talk. That's one of the reasons why he wound up being assassinated.